Hello, hello. This is old Twit Talks Cars. I'm in the latest model of BMW 3 Series, uh, and there's a couple of things I just wanted to point out to you in this very short video. So, this is the 330i Sport, so we're not the M Sport here, uh, and really that's why I wanted to tell you a couple of the features that potentially are missing that you might expect to be here. So this one's got the normal uh, analog dials which actually I probably prefer because the digital ones look a bit dodgy if you ask me. Um, nothing wrong with them, um, typical BMW really. Um, I've got the cognac leather in here which is dividing opinion. Uh, my son calls it orange which Clearly to my eyes it isn't, but I get that it's quite a strident colour, but I much prefer it to the black hole of Calcutta that BMW can turn out and, you know, it's all good quality here, um, no, no particular complaints. A couple of things I wanted to point out is this, I don't really see on here, but this gear knob selector is sort of weird. It's neither polished nor uh, matte. It's sort of a weird combination and it gets quite scratch which you probably can't see on here and also it's just neither one thing or another so a little bit odd. Um, sat nav screen is fine, generous, uh, good resolution uh, no complaints at all about that. I've only got two extras on this car because it was really right at the top of my budget and I wanted the 330 engine. So I've got the heated steering wheel, which was, I think, about 250 quid, which my advice would be, don't bother. It doesn't heat up very to a very high temperature. It's sort of patchy around the wheel. Uh, and it's just not very good. It's just like an afterthought addition, it seems to be anyway. So I wouldn't bother with that. The other thing that did really surprise me, having looked at all the lovely online reviews of this car before I got it, was this one, which came as a bit of a shock to me. So here we go. Hey BMW. Yes, that's right, hey BMW is only standard on the M Sport models, which is the next model up to this. So uh, that really isn't very clear, I don't think, in any of BMW's literature. And also all those reviews online make a big old deal about Hey BMW, which does look quite fun. Uh, and I haven't got it here. So uh, yeah, that was a bit of a shock really. Um, however, this thing, I don't know whether it's the same sort of engine that drives it, just without the um, dynamic voice control, but this has proved to be pretty good on the whole. Navigate to Tesco Express. Tesco Northampton, say yes, or select another entry from the list. Cancel. Cancel. So to be fair, compared to other um, types of voice control that I've had in other cars, this is pretty accurate. It normally gets you where you want to go. It normally picks the right phone number. Uh, so it's it's not a disaster, but it's not clearly as much fun as, Hey BMW, I'm tired, and all that malarkey. So uh, just something for, for you to be aware. Um, the last thing for now, because I'm rambling on already, is good quality in here all this stuff's squishy and, and nice door cards etc however a place where you put your hand at least twice every journey in here to grab has got really scratchy crappy <clears throat> hard plastic in it and to me just laying in some uh, stippled rubber or something would make a world of difference to that and it's just a little oversight really with BMW but anyway uh, thanks for watching there'll be plenty more to follow about this car driving uh, exterior more about the interior 
um, more about the niggles and more about the stuff that's good uh, really soon. So uh, this is Old Twit Talks Cars signs off. Please uh, have a look at my blog if you're desperately bored.